welcome to another episode of our online classes and please do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel fathers of all things now today we want to look at uh, the adverbial the adverbial phrase and the adverbial clause i'm sure by now you know what adverbs are now an adverb is a word that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb it means that it tells us more about that class of words. Now, the adverbial phrase is a group of words that performs the functions of the adverb in a sentence. In other words, since an adverb usually tells more about the verb, the adverb, or an adjective, that's what the adverbial does. The adverbial phrase and the adverbial clause both work like the adverbs in a sentence. Now, the adverbial phrase is a group of words that functions as an adverb, which means that they tell us how, when, where, and to what extent the idea in question takes place. They tell you more about something that is already mentioned. It could be a verb, it could be an adverb, it could be an adjective. Now, a phrase is a group of words without a subject and a predicate. It means that it needs to be attached to the rest of the sentence or another group of words to make full sense. But that, be that as it may, you cannot say that they don't have a use because the adverbial phrase functions just like the adverb. It tells you more, gives more information about a verb or an adjective or another adverb, as the case may be. Now, this adverbial phrase tells us how an action takes place. When an action takes place, you can you might just, for instance, come and say, come in and say, uh, the man died. It's a complete sentence. It's all right. But if you want to give us more information about the man's death, you can tell us the time of the death. The man died yesterday. Yesterday is an advert of time. So it gives you more information about the already stated expression. Now, the adverbial phrase is a group of words that tells you more about an expression. Now, in the garden is an example of an adverbial of place. To the university is another one of place. In a hurry is an adverb of manner. How did she live? She left in a hurry. In an angry manner. It's an adverb of manner. Adverbial phrase of manner. It's a phrase because it's more than one word. With care. is another adverbial phrase of manner. Into the well. is another adverbial phrase. Now functions of the adverbial phrase. We want to look at what they do in sentences. Remember I told you that the adverbial phrase can modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. So let's look at how it does that. Now, number one, an adverbial phrase modifies a verb. E.g., we went to the zoo. We went to the zoo. Now, to the zoo is what? An adverbial phrase of place. Modifying the verb went. That is the function. That is how it is in grammar. It modifies a verb. The adverbial phrase modifies a verb, as can be seen in this instance. We went to the zoo. To the zoo is the adverbial of adverbial phrase of place. It's modifying the verb went in that sentence. Now, another function of the adverbial phrase is that it modifies the adjective in a sentence. An adverbial phrase modifies the adjective in a sentence. For instance, Ade is far more sensible than Ada. Ade is far more sensible than Ada. Now, far more is an adverbial phrase that modifies the adjective sensible. It tells you how much more or in what manner uh, Ade is sensible than Ada. Simple, simply stating that Ade is 
is sensible than other. This is correct and complete. But if you add far more, you are emphasizing and adding information to the statements. Number three, as modifier of another adverb. That is one of the function of the adverbial phrase. It modifies another adverb. That's we have an adverb modifying another adverb. My father drives very carefully. Now, my father drives carefully. It's complete in the only two. Carefully being the adverb in that sentence. Now, if you want to place emphasis on the manner my father drives, then you can include another adverb to modify this adverb, the main adverb. My father drives very carefully. Very in that sentence. Modifies carefully. Now, I want to also look at the adverbial clause. This also performs the function of an adverb. It's just that a clause is far more uh, encompassing than the, the phrase. The phrase cannot be stated on its own. But in some cases, clauses can be used as a full sentence, depending on what, what kind of information you want to pass across. Now, the adverbial clauses perform the functions of adverbs in sentences. Now, let's see how they do that. You may go wherever you want. You may go wherever you want. Wherever you want is a clause. Wherever you want is an adverbial clause or place. You may go is complete in itself, but when you add this added information, you have told us more about your initial expression. Now, want to look at uh, another example of the adverbial clause. When I saw him, he looked sad. When I saw him, it's an adverbial clause of time, telling us when. You actually saw the person he is talking about. Number three, he could not walk fast because he was old. He could not walk fast because he was old. That is an adverbial cause of reason. It answers the question why he could not walk fast because he was old. It's usually introduced by such words as because, so that, uh, in spite of, those kind of uh, conjunctions. Now let's look at kinds. Let's look at kinds of adverbial clauses. Just like the examples, as we were stating there, we were talking about kind the way. Now, one of the kinds of adverbial clauses we have is that of place. Adverbial clauses of place. These clauses are usually introduced by where and whenever. Now you can identify each. Each set of or kind of adverbial clause by what kind of what type of conjunction introduces them. He makes friends wherever he goes. That is a place. He makes friends wherever he goes. Adverbial clause of place. Wherever he goes. Now there were dead bodies where the accidents occurred. It answers the question where. That's the adverbial clause of place. Now, these are the other kinds of adverbial clauses. We have adverbial clauses of time, adverbial clauses of reason, adverbial clause of purpose, adverbial clause of concession, adverbial clause of condition, adverbial clause of comparison, and adverbial clause of result. Now, to save time, we will look at these ones, one after the other, on our usual WhatsApp group chat. So, and uh, thank you very much for your time. And please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Palace of Politics. Thank you very much.